This is the TV 38 News at 9.30. And good evening, everyone, with Chris May. I'm Sarah Underwood. Thank you for being with us on this Monday night. Here's a look at some of the stories that we're following tonight. The mere mention of the name Tom Cruise is a lot to turn off a lot of people these days. And that's why Tom has a plan to change things. Soccer is God in Italy, but a weekend of wild riots might change the sport forever. But we're going to begin tonight with a simple and scary equation for parents. Kids plus computers means the inevitably found pornography. A study out of UNH today showed us that nearly half of all kids in America found porn online whether they wanted to or not. And Eileen Curran is with us tonight to show us how some websites are purposely trying to trick your kids into finding it, Eileen. Well, Sarah and Chris, something as simple as leaving off a letter of a website address could have your child seeing something very different and disturbing than their favorite cartoon character. Uh -oh. <laughs> 12-year-old Will Comer of Milton likes game websites, while his 10-year-old sister Katie prefers the popular WebKids. But once when Katie was logging onto a website and inadvertently left out a letter in the address, she and her mom got an unwelcomed surprise. It was a child pornography site. A new study in the journal Pediatrics says nearly half of kids logging on at some point will see pornography. Porn websites make it easy for kids with lax age restrictions and intentionally confusing web addresses. Take the PBS Bob the Builder site, transpose two of the letters, and you would end up at a site with porn links. Bill Mooney McCoy runs an internet safety program, Tech Mission Safe Families. One of our theories is that they want to hook kids, just like the tobacco industry wanted to start lifelong smokers. They knew if they caught them as a teenager, they had them for life. The concern really is, have, have we lost the age of innocence? Dr. Michael Rich of Children's Hospital says children viewing porn on the internet is so new, the long-term effects are unknown. We don't know what's going to happen five years from now when eight-year-olds who are exposed to explicit porn on the internet grow up. Comers have strict computer rules, but nothing is foolproof. You just have to be vigilant. You know, it's just one of the many things that parents have to be vigilant about. Experts say teach your children to drive the internet as you would teach them to drive a car. Safety first and learn how to navigate through those potential dangers. And Sarah, one of the first things you should do is make sure the computer is in the busiest room in the house, which in most cases is the kitchen. All right, Eileen, thank you so much. Most internet providers have built-in parental controls as part of their service. You can call your internet provider for step-by-step -step instructions on how to set that up.